In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Jerome, priest and doctor of the church. Let us take a moment to prepare our hearts to celebrate these sacred mysteries by acknowledging our sin. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. St. Jerome, a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word, and find in it the font of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, I know well that it is so, but how can a man be justified before God? Should one wish to contend with him, he could not answer him once in a thousand times. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength, who has withstood him, who has withstood him and remained unscathed. He removes the mountains before they know it. He overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place, and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun, and it raises not. Seal, he seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crests of the sea. He made the bear in the Orient, 
the Pleiades, and the constellations of the south. He does great things past finding out, marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come near me, I see him not. Should he pass by, I'm not aware of him. Should he seize me forcibly, who can say him nay? Who can say to him, what are you doing? How much less shall I give him any answer, or choose out arguments against him? Even though I were right, I could not answer him, but should rather beg what it was do me. If I appealed to him and he answered my call, I could not believe that he would hearken to my words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Daily I call upon you, O Lord. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades arise to give me thanks? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Do they declare your mercy in the grave, your faithfulness among those who have perished? Are your wonders made known in the darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion? And I pray prayer come before you, Lord. But I, O oh Lord, cry out to you. With my morning prayer, I wait upon you. Why, O oh Lord, do you reject me? Why hide from me your face? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Lord be with you and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord. But first let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus answered him, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind, the spit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We return to the wisdom literature from the Bible, today looking at the book of Job. Today's passage, the author describes the state of humanity before God. We are no match for God. Even if we were granted a hearing before God, we could not answer even one of God's.
God's questions. Even if we think we have a case against God, we cannot even speak. God has a purpose we cannot understand. Job then asks, what can we do? And the response is a hymn of praise to God. A hymn of praise for creation. No matter how much we study it, we cannot figure it all out. Yet creation is marvelous to behold. The hymn then goes on to talk about the divine human encounter. God comes near to us, and we don't even know it. And at times it seems that God seizes us forcibly, and we are powerless to say no. Nor do we even understand what God is doing. Job concludes, before God, we can't be justified. When we look at our own lives, most of us have gone through periods in our life where we just can't figure out what is going on. It can seem like chaos has seized our life. Or is it God reshaping our life? If we ask God, we get no answer. We look out at creation, it's constantly being shaken up, beyond our understanding, yet it is wonderful to behold. We too are wonderful to behold. God is at work in us. We ask God, what are you doing? And we get no answer. We are powerless before God. Yet, unbelievably, we call to God, and God is present. Dear sisters and brothers, we celebrate the mysteries of our redemption. Let us ask Almighty God that the whole world may be watered from the springs of all blessing and life. serve God in freedom. 
freedom of heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the energy of our leaders be directed to the common good, care for the poor, and peace in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of David Weber and comfort for his family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion, and by love and reverence for God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May mercy we beseech you, O Lord, be with your people who cry out to you, so that what they seek at your prompting they may obtain by your ready generosity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Bless us, be God, forever. Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, Become for us our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God from the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that, having meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Jerome, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe and answer to his prayers. So of all the company of angels and saints, we declare the hymn of your praise as wherein we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down the Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
and assume the way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. When he used his bread and drank the cup, he proclaimed the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one. By the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, a glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray together in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord God, your words were found, and I consumed them. Your word became the joy and the happiness of my heart.
the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful so that, attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow, and, by following it, attain everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ to serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God.